What is going on, y'all? It is Ranger Marcus or Marcus Rareman, and today we are in southern Georgia looking at some borrow pits here on the property. Hopefully, we can find some frogs, some turtles, and maybe some snakes. But before we get to that, I found some really cool snakes and some other herps this week while on prescribed burns, as well as on a diamondback survey. By the time you guys are seeing this video, it's probably like a week, maybe even a week and a half to get my Ranger Marcus premium t-shirt on rangermarcus.com. So go check it out and go get you one. Not sure what kind of tadpoles these are, but there are a lot of them. So we were out here doing a rattlesnake survey and there are a couple sheets of tin right over there. Got this pretty big coach whip, about five, maybe six feet. It's got a nice dark head right there. And right in that bag, we also got a timber rattlesnake, which is only my second ever timber rattlesnake. So we're gonna get some pretty cool pictures of both of these guys. All right, we got this coach whip to pose very nicely for us. You can see that really cool dark head there. And the rest of it has got this nice tan coloration. Pretty big snake, one of the biggest coach whips I've ever seen. Now onto the timber rattlesnake. All right, this snake has posed up very nicely for us. This is a timber rattlesnake, the first time you guys have seen this on the channel. This is a juvenile most likely, or a small adult. You can see this really cool chevron pattern there, and there's that really cool aberrant pattern right there. These guys are a venomous snake. It is a rattlesnake. also notice is that this snake is in shed so if you see right there there's some scales coming off there so it's shedding its skin and so at some point this snake is going to look really really cool and that brown dorsal line right there is going to look like a really cool orange color hopefully and then it won't be so dark it'll kind of look like a white timber rattlesnake it'll look really cool after this though All right, that's more than enough, but... so finally you guys are able to see a Timber rattlesnake, they're also known as the cane break. You know, this snake was probably about two, two and a half feet long. It wasn't a very big one, like I said, it was a small adult. These guys can get upwards of five to six feet long, just like eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. But very cool find, found it under a sheet of tin. We're gonna put this guy back and uh, keep looking for snakes. Awesome find. See you later, Timber. It'll find its way eventually. Here's a really good example of an active gopher tortoise burrow. You can see how flat it is right there. That plasteron is dragging against the sand here. So either there's a gopher tortoise in there or there's a gopher tortoise out there somewhere. There is a green anole right over there showing off its dewlap. It is super green, enjoying that sun. See if we can get closer to it. Oh, man, he's running. Look at him showing that dewlap there. I see a gopher tortoise over here. Hopefully it is still outside of its burrow. It is. Oh, you can kind of see him. You can see the head right there. It's hard to tell, but there was a gopher tortoise just chilling right up here. And then when I got closer, he went inside there. All right, we got a little barking tree frog right here on this prescribed burn. It's a pretty good looking one. It's got a really cool eyeball there. But I'm going to put this guy on the other side of the unit here, and it will be on its way. Got a little pine woods tree frog here on the prescribed burn. This is like the greenest one I've ever seen. Got a little bit of brown to it. It's hard to tell here, but it's got that yellow, those yellow dots right behind the leg. So this is a pineman's tree frog. Pretty cool. Put this guy out over here. 
Go ahead there, brother. There he goes. So we got our prescribed burn going and this big diamondback came out of the unit while it was burning. So it is now on the safe side of the unit, but pretty big and pretty good looking diamondback there. Look at this guy coming towards me. Gosh, these guys are so cool. Look at this diamondback. There's a hole right here. I wonder if it'll go in it. Maybe not. Maybe it's just out for a stroll. But wow, that is a good looking one. Probably going towards that hole now. Oh yeah, well I got him blocked. Big cat. All right, see you, Rattlesnake. We'll see you again soon, hopefully. Got a little cotton mouth. Once again, right on the prescribed burn. About an hour after, we got that diamond back. There he is right there. He was just gaping his mouth a couple seconds ago. Oh, oh, I see. So we got this guy right here on the sand hill. Really cool patterning right there on his head. It was gaping its mouth a couple seconds ago. That's how it wards off its predators. But we're not going to mess with this guy anymore. We're going to let him go. Not my usual content, but we are out here fishing. And we got that cool fish. Hopefully it'll calm down soon. That is a really cool looking fish though. I'll give you guys a closer look. That is a pretty cool looking fish right there. I don't know, that really cool orange underbelly. That's cool. I'm going to throw this guy back. All right, let's get straight to today's video. And the first herp, we have a little cricket frog. Small little guy. So what I think right there is a barking tree frog. So let's get close to this guy. Hopefully he doesn't dive under the water here. It is. Oh, look at him. He's swimming. There's another barking tree frog right there. See if we can get close to this guy. And there he is. Another little cricket frog right in there. And right there, maybe some sort of egg mass or something? I'm not really sure. Another barking tree frog. That is the third one. Look at that guy. There's that, so there's that barking tree frog there. And right there, there's a little cricket frog. There's a water snake right there. And it went away. It went to that other side. It was right there. Oh, there it goes. You can see it now. I'll see that guy on the other side, most likely. Banded water snake. He's another little cricket frog. He was in the middle of calling. And there's that water snake right there. Man, that is a good looking one. See if we can get a closer look here. And there he goes. Right here we got two barking tree frogs in Amplexus. Whoa. Right here we got an eastern newt. This looks to be a male. 
male eastern newt. It's a pretty big newt right there, right in the middle of your screen. And this right here is a baby chicken turtle. This may be a different one than we've seen here before. This is a really nice find here in Georgia. Look at how cool this guy is. Baby chicken turtle. So here's a closer look at this chicken turtle. Very small guy. But I'm gonna put this guy back and keep looking for cool turtles, frogs, and maybe even snakes. All right, this guy was heading in that direction over there. So let's let him go. Go, dude. Bye, little turtle. There's another water snake over here. There it is. You can see him. Pretty dark individual. And there he is. Just follow him around. Let's see where he goes. And another barking tree frog. Definitely a common face for tonight. And the third water snake of the night. This one is also really cool looking. Let's see if we can get a closer view here. Maybe not, but there he is. Going that away. And out of the corner of my eye, I spotted that dude. That is a huge bullfrog. That is one of the biggest bull. That is one of the biggest bullfrogs I have ever seen. Wow. And a little leopard frog. A good looking one too. And last herp to end the night is a little cricket frog. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me tonight, but you guys will see me tomorrow flipping some tin, looking for some snakes. All right, guys, it is the next day. Today we are going to be flipping some tin, looking for snakes, and hopefully we can also see some gopher tortoises out roaming around. Look at this really cool habitat that I'm looking through today. Sand hill with some nice green looking trees. These are really sunny and probably really hot. Let's see if we can get anything. Yeah, see, that's just too hot to the touch. First herp we've been able to get a good look at today is a five line skink. Seen a couple other lizards so far, but haven't been able to get any video of them. We saw a five line skink earlier with a really blue tail, and we saw a mole skink in an eastern fence lizard. So, no gopher tortoises yet today, but that is a good sign that they are out and about. It's an active burrow right there. Just flipped a little marbled salamander. It's got no coloring on it yet. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me this week here in Southern Georgia. This week, we got some really cool snakes, including a timber rattlesnake, which was my second one ever, a coach whip, which was about five feet long, an eastern diamondback on the fire break, as well as a cottonmouth. And then last night, we got a ton of barking tree frogs. We got an American bullfrog. We got some eastern newts, and we got a chicken turtle. 
Once again, if you have not already, go to rangermarcus.com to go get you a Ranger Marcus premium t-shirt in my shop. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.